So in this video is a replay in the e device, which is a tier 8 Japanese premium medium tank. It's from the Valkyria Chronicles uh, video game, uh, specifically the first one. Um, I have played Valkyria Chronicles, really good um, couple of games, uh, the remastered one and number 4. Uh, number 2 and number 3 are on the PSP and I don't think number 3 came over to the west, so um, yeah I think uh, remastered and for probably the ones to play if you are interested in it. It's turn-based tactics. Um, yeah, it's a good video game series. Um, but we're on we're on Overlord, um, and we're just coming up to the, the windmill here just to get this nice central position. But um, yeah, it's um, I, I do remember when these tanks were originally launched uh, years ago now, and I wasn't putting too much money into the game. And I just thought, I'm not spending that on those two tanks. Kind of regretted it. I um, always thought, wish I had those tanks. And they came back, um, must have been 18 months, maybe? Something like that ago. They're back in the store now. Um, you can get them in the double pack, the Edelweiss and the Nameless. Um, so yeah, I think they're, they're, really, they're really worth it. Uh, this tank in particular, it's got really good hull armour. Um, the turret it doesn't have the strongest armour um, but it is angled quite strangely and it is quite small so it's not a hold down tank um, it kind of reminds me of like a German medium where you've got some nice hull armour you can bounce shots and you'll see that later in this replay where you can just sort of bounce shots if you're angled so it is a bit of like a box but it's quite a well armoured box um, penetration is pretty good, uh, alpha is pretty good, um, although probably on the low side now these days. Um, but yeah, really good tank, definitely worth getting. If you are a fan of Valkyria Chronicles, you yep, definitely buy it. Uh, um, they keep saying this is the last time, this is the last time, but you never know if they do actually mean it or not. But um, yeah, if you are on the fence about getting them, then I, I probably would. Um, just got this, um, I think it's the Indian Panzer, just trying to side scrape, um, pretty confident in this tank's ability to actually do this, uh, so yeah just seeing what I can shoot this, this Draugon here, I don't really want to take a hit from that, especially if it's got Hesh and goes through my turret, uh, but yeah just trying to side scrape although, yeah, straight through the turret. As you can see, the um, the reload is pretty nice on this. Um, as I said, the alpha probably these days is a little bit low. I think it's 240. Um, but yeah, it's a um, really good medium tank. Um, if you like the German mediums, it's, it's just just like that really. Um, nice and mobile. So um, yeah, just trying to go a little bit hold down on this tank. Um, as I said, the turret armor is not particularly strong, but it is strangely angled. You can get the odd, the odd ricochet off of it. Um, but yeah, I think overall, um, minus that it's a Valkyria Chronicles tank, I think it is, it is a good tank. Um, it is one of my favourites. Hardly ever play it, to be honest. Um, I do need to play it more often. Um, I'm always grinding for something else or crew training other nations um, never really focused on, on Japan or the, or the tech tree so I um, do need to play these more often but um, we've uh, won this side of the map, we've won the middle um, my team did go down beach um, but the my allies sort of down the 9-0 line have done a really good job holding uh, the enemy push so now we can come round from behind um, they are starting to get destroyed over there, my allies. But I think what they've done is they've probably won the game just by holding them here. And now we can just go round the back and charge in for Galia. Uh, um, and yeah, as you can see, um, get a nice ram on there. A couple of uh, bounces. Shot into the tracks there. Another bounce. Another shot into the tracks. Just making sure this one goes in. And now it's having to go round onto my side armour. That's the only way it can pen. 
and yeah, getting some nice shots in here. So as you can see, um, the armor does hold up quite nicely. Um, it's just you need to angle it just like a sort of a German box tank. Uh, but yeah, really good tank. Uh, really nice, nice and mobile. And yeah, definitely worth picking up. Um, so yeah, that was a um, really good game on, on Overlord. Um, just under 4,000 damage there. Um, blocked 1,000, which is nice. Pick up three kills as well. So um, yeah, uh, definitely worth, as I said, definitely worth picking up. Um, get the first class there. And yeah, MVP.